Even a brief glimpse at the firmament is enough to literally open our eyes to the galactic diversity of the universe. Each of these thousands and thousands of sparkling objects in the night sky seems to represent a cosmic world of its own, sometimes surrounded by great mysteries. Although modern space research has already achieved some groundbreaking milestones in recent decades, we're still far from having deciphered all the mysteries of the cosmos. Thus, even those small, exceedingly compact stars known as white dwarfs have always held some some exciting mysteries for terrestrial astronomers. What we have been able to find out about these unique astronomical objects so far, and what new theory could now help solve a major mystery about white dwarfs, will now reveal to you. Enthusiastic about the exciting discoveries and breathtaking spectacles in the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell for regular updates on these fascinating topics. Feel free to show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. White Dwarfs It may sound a bit contradictory at first, but for a white dwarf to be born, a star must die. In detail, this class of celestial bodies is formed as soon as stars, with a certain mass, have reached the last stage of their evolution and have used up their nuclear energy. In detail, white dwarfs are the hot cores of red giants, which remain after they have ejected their outer layers. For a white dwarf to form, the dying star must not exceed a mass of 1.44 solar masses. If this threshold, known as the Trangesicar limit, is exceeded, a neutron star, or even a monstrous black hole, will form as a result of such a supernova. Typically, white dwarfs are characterized by their pronounced compactness as well as their high surface temperatures. Although the thermometer on white dwarfs rises to more than 210,000 degrees Fahrenheit on average, the objects have a very weak luminosity due to their small size. While stars in the main sequence, including our Sun, often have diameters of almost a million miles, the corresponding value for white dwarfs is usually no more than about 9,000 miles. Nevertheless, these fascinating objects have masses that are typical for stars. Because of this characteristic, the celestial bodies also belong to the densest objects in the universe. In this category, they are only surpassed by neutron stars and black holes. According to official NASA data, the gravity prevailing on the surface of a white dwarf is 350,000 times higher than on our blue home planet. A person who weighs 150 pounds on Earth would therefore have a weight of almost 51 million pounds there. Regarding their nature, white dwarfs usually have a hot core of so-called degenerate matter. In classical physics, the term degenerate matter describes a state that deviates from the known behavior patterns due to quantum mechanical effects. As soon as the concentration of fermions, for example, particles like neutrons, electrons, or protons, is very dense in stars, a degeneracy pressure opposes the gravitational forces prevailing there. For example, white dwarfs are stabilized by the degeneracy pressure of their electron gas. In simple terms, the gas of degenerate electrons generates an indispensable pressure which counteracts the gravitational forces and thus prevents the white dwarf from collapsing. Around the core of hot degenerate matter, there is a weak luminous photosphere. When White Dwarfs Die As already mentioned, white dwarfs are the cosmic relics of red giants. Once they reach the final chapter of their lives and begin to inflate, they swallow up all astronomical bodies that are in their immediate domains, including planets. In fact, NASA Spitzer spacecraft provided evidence that between 1 and 3 percent of all known white dwarfs have polluted atmospheres, a striking circumstance that suggests that rocky material from other objects has fallen into them. According to statements of the experts, many of these planets, which were made uninhabitable in the context of this process, could have been once celestial bodies on which life-favorable conditions prevailed. Now that we have seen how white dwarfs are born, the question remains which final fate awaits the compact celestial bodies. The cosmic end of the objects depends above all on the constellations in which they are. In the course of time, individual white dwarfs eventually radiate their entire energy whereupon they transform into a black dwarf, at least in theory. In fact, the existence of black dwarfs has not yet been proven, since these hypothetical objects come with the characteristic properties of emitting neither heat nor visible light to any appreciable extent. They could hardly be identified on the basis of this marginal radiant power. In fact, 
their existence would have to be proven by the measurable effect of their gravity. Those white dwarfs that are part of a double star system can start to accrete material from their steady companions. A possible consequence of this steady increase of the intrinsic mass is the transformation of the white dwarf to a once more clearly denser neutron star. The second variant, which can accompany such a process, is even more spectacular. So it can be that the accretion of the white dwarf sets in motion a thermonuclear. According to this phenomenon, the celestial bodies begin to collapse by self-gravity. With the carbon burning that begins during the process, the dying stars are literally torn apart in the end. Mysterious Magnetic Fields While experts have already succeeded in deciphering many of the characteristics of white dwarfs, one central research question has been causing a great deal of confusion among experts for some time. How is it that some of these objects have extremely strong magnetic fields? According to this, some white dwarfs have magnetic fields that are a million times more intense than that of our Earth. For reference, the magnetic field of the Sun is just twice as strong as that of our blue homeland planet. So what background could lead to this unusual circumstance? The maximum volume a star may have within a binary system before its own mass flows over to its companion is called the Roche volume or Roche area. If both components of a double star system are within their Roche areas, we don't find any of these unusually strong magnetic fields there. The situation is different in those cases where a white dwarf has started to accrete material from its lower mass counterpart. In more than one-third of these cases, the involved white dwarfs exhibit incomparably intense magnetic fields. An international team of researchers, therefore, recently put forward a new theory that could be used to unravel this great cosmic mystery. According to the explanations of the experts, the corresponding white dwarfs possess a core dynamo, which does not develop at the time of the emergence of the celestial body, but only afterward. In detail, this galactic dynamo would be composed of convective, rotating fluid, which also has electrically conductive properties. This would convert kinetic energy into magnetic energy, which in turn would create the extreme magnetic fields that have puzzled experts for some time. As we all know, our terrestrial home also has its own magnetic field. In this case, the convection required for its formation is created by liquid iron moving around the core of our blue home planet. An exciting explanation. Since the previous data derived from observations regarding the extreme magnetic fields of white dwarfs simply didn't make sense, scientists have long suspected that a fundamental component of the celestial bodies has so far remained undiscovered. The thesis that the intense magnetic fields of white dwarfs are generated by a nuclear dynamo might now solve this previous paradox. Immediately after a white dwarf has formed from a red giant, it's very hot and consists of oxygen and liquid carbon. The new model of the experts is based on the fact that the dynamo of white dwarfs develops as soon as its core cools down and crystallizes. As a result of this process, outwardly escaping heat convection currents would emerge, which can be compared in terms of their movement patterns with those characteristics that prevail around our Earth's core. However, experts assume that the fluids in the core regions of white dwarfs move at much faster speeds than in the interior of our terrestrial home. As a result of this higher flow rate, the magnetic fields of white dwarfs are also potentially significantly stronger. If we apply this basic mechanism to a white dwarf, which is part of a binary system, we can also understand which effects lead to a further intensification of the magnetic field. As the white dwarf ages and cools over time, its orbit approaches that of its galactic counterpart. If this cosmic companion now exceeds the Roche volume, the white dwarf begins to absorb material. As a result of this increase in mass, the rotational speed of the celestial body also increases, which consequently also applies to its core dynamo, which ultimately creates an even stronger magnetic field. Although the models of the researchers can plausibly explain how the unexpectedly strong magnetic fields of some white dwarfs come about, this area still needs many detailed investigations to provide real data. If the thesis of the experts should be confirmed as a result of further research, we would have obtained an exciting proof that the mechanism of the magnetic field generation of white dwarfs is in line with that of planets. Now it's your turn. What do you think about the exciting and mysterious white dwarfs? Write us your thoughts, your feedback, and your suggestions to today's contribution in the comments. Are you looking for more exciting videos on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other interesting contributions on our channel, which we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.